In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to issue a return or refund using the online terminal. It is important that you've already watched the manual transaction through the online terminal video, which covers all this other information above. So let's scroll on down to our payment information. Now, the amount of my refund is $22, but because I charge $20 and $2 for tax, I want to go ahead and report that during this transaction. Under the credit card section, I have now selected return. Put in your credit card information, credit card number, expiration date. Now, it is not important that you have the three digit code for this transaction because you're only issuing a return. If you did have a purchase order number, you could go ahead and put that in there. Also, a description for me, I went ahead and put in refund for services. Now, there are multiple ways of running returns on our system. This is through our online terminal. So once you have all that information, we're going to go ahead and select on submit transaction. Once you select to submit the transaction, you'll notice that it says proceed without CVV2. Go ahead and click OK. Like I said, it is not necessary to process the return. The next screen that's going to come up is going to tell us that our transaction was successful. Here you'll see the response is successful. The total of our return slash refund is $22. Once you see this information, that means you're done. You just go ahead and click on process another transaction. And this concludes this tutorial.